Happy Water Change Wednesday to all you aficionados out there. Here I'll start off this first vi this first part of the video with um, feeding some guppies some um, uh, uh, mosquito larva. Get that ready off screen a little bit and you know, let's try it out. Um, I think that's a little bit better shot than what you saw on Tank Talk Tuesday video from yesterday. I think that's a little bit clearer to see. The sun angle is a little bit different, so hopefully that's a little bit easier on your eyes. So, I know they're pretty happy to see some more uh, mosquito larvae. My daughter's out here with me, have her as a helper, and she loves to feed the feed the fish. So she'll be feeding them some flake food just as a staple, but this is not you know, Tub Talk Tuesday. I don't even know if that, that's gonna be a thing, but this is uh, Water Change Wednesday, so my point is I'm gonna be showing you is I'll be doing a, you know, a water change on the fry tank, on the fry tub, not the fry tub, fry tank, the fry bucket out here, which is this one on center screen. See, there's some fry in there. Um, really, it's, not really necessary. I just wait until rain comes when it's this time of year to keep the um, water flowing because as you might notice, let's see there's a drilled hole right there so whenever the water level gets too high it it um it will overflow but not overflow it'll flow through there instead of overflowing so that way it keeps the fish in there and keeps them from falling out themselves and then dying and drying up so what I'll do is I'll use my fancy water changer, outdoor water changer tool. This is obviously just a repurposed um, uh, milk jug. I cut the top off, it makes a good scoop, makes it a good carrier for my net and my uh, turkey baster that I use for catching uh, mosquito larvae and fish as well. Um, and so I'll do a quick simple water change. Hopefully we don't catch any fry in the making. If we do, then that's what we use the net for. Check for any babies in there. I actually don't see any babies, so just doing a small water change just to keep things oxygenated and for the sake of the video purposes. And let's see here, which, so this tank, could, this tub right here could go for some more water. So I just pour it in here, I should just pour it out in the grass, but it's not bad water, it's not, it's not cold, it's just for the sake of this video. So next I will be, um, getting water uh, which is not the usual water source but it is definitely already dechlorinated no question about that um, so that's what I'll be doing in the next part of this video so stay tuned for like two seconds all right so now we're gonna go over and get some some more uh, water for the fish and let's, let's get some oh, thank you What's a pretty flower? It's a clover. It's great for uh, bees. Love it. Honeybees love it. So I uh, leave small patches of clover, uh, more patches of clover in my backyard. You want for mommy too? Got some small patches of clover in the front yard and some more patches of clover in the backyard. And uh, save it for the bees because honeybees need as much help as they can. Come on over here. They need as much help as they can get because their populations are declining. So um, I do leave some clover for them, some patches for them to eat. Um, because if we don't have bees, we don't have fruit. We don't have a, a lot of plants that we need a lot of, a lot more of. So I leave plenty of clover for the bees. But anyways, this is not a a, a bee a bee vlog. But um, anyways, my uh, fancy water change tool here is just a. Uh, watering can. I like the one with a little rain spout on it and um, we will we'll be filling this one up in my um, cooler water um, rain barrel. It's also a lot faster too so it's for when I'm um, impatient or in a rush and uh, also need some cooler water for the summertime because it helps to bring down the water temperature because cooler water holds more oxygen than warmer water does. Um, and then I'll show you more of that, of this, and explain why I have that um, nozzle on there instead of just pouring straight water in there. So 
Next, you'll see me filling up the uh, watering can, which is super exciting. All right, so here's my fancy water changing, replacing tool, also known as a garden watering can. Um, and we have my rain barrel. Uh, this was my first rain barrel I built. Basically didn't use any plans, just figured it out as I went along. It's first place I had it was at that down spot over there and it was sitting up, but it was on the ground flush with the ground and that just didn't give, it wasn't as easy. I had to basically take the watering can and then dip it into the top of the trash can here or the rain barrel. And uh, by doing that, uh, it left it exposed to the uh, mosquitoes, which obviously uh, mosquitoes are a problem. Um, in that large of number that I was finding. So I moved over here, put it up on two uh, levels of cinder blocks. And I think I, I already had the spigot on there. Yeah, I did. These spigots are so much nicer. You'll see it just takes a, a half a turn and it comes out a lot faster than my other one. I might show my other one in a different video or in a later portion of it. So, um, but yeah, this is my first um, attempt at a rain barrel. I mean, I don't think it's really that bad. This is where I messed up actually. So I covered it with screen and the screen keeps the uh, mosquitoes from getting inside of it. So it really does help um, a lot. So this water is much cooler because this side of the house only gets morning sun. So um, anyways, this is just a one of those standard trash cans. You see my dog found the lid when it was on the ground over there and was able to chew on it and that explains this this is my overflow plan and just now it just the water still does overflow and which explains all that growth right there and all the moss which i think moss is great is that a leak no it's a leak coming from so i thought the bottom was leaking but it's just leaking from right here which is per from right here which is perfectly fine uh, i don't bother me one bit so the highest the water gets is right here and um, so let's go and start filling up. You'll see how much faster this uh, spigot goes than the other one does. So much nicer. Um, I know it seems kind of slow, but compared to the other one, this is really fast. So stay tuned. Uh, next part, I'll be adding the water and uh, replacing the water to complete the water change Wednesday in my summer tubs. Definitely tubs, actually, in a fry bucket, I guess, is what it is. So I'm sure this looks crazy to the neighbors that I'm watering water, but it's basically what this is doing is, uh, for those of you that don't know, this is uh, taking cooler water, because it's cooler over in the shade, because it gets more shade throughout the day than my driveway uh, rain, rain barrel does, and uh, it's taking the water and it's basically shoving it into the other water. See the bubbles that are formed? Those bubbles are dissolved oxygen, which increases the amount of oxygen in the water, which is basically what a filter is supposed to do, is supposed to increase the oxygen content. So in the summertime, people have asked me, well, how do you uh, get by without doing fi filtration? Well, I take out like a gallon or so of warm water because um, uh, convection causes the warm water and warm air to rise to the top not air in here but obviously it's the same thing and uh, then I pour some cooler water from the cooler water rain barrel which then basically injects the water with cooler water which has more oxygen it also shoves more air into there just like a waterfall does which increases the oxygen in the uh, tubs and in the buckets and then we have a much happier healthier and living fish. Uh, that's the high-tech fancy filter right here for summer tubbin. Um, and then once again my high-tech uh, water change uh, removal tool and uh, sometimes to do a quick clean out I just use a net. As you see what I'll be going through next to get is a little bit of uneaten food in here that I'm going to try and I don't know how that even got there. I don't remember feeding them anything like that. I don't even know what that is, but I'll go ahead and take that out and rinse that out somewhere else. But yeah, that's basically it. That's how I do a water change Wednesday for uh, my outdoor tubs. Um, 
and these obviously can go a little bit longer but i you know use a very fancy uh thermometer with my finger and when it feels kind of warm to the touch which that feels feels like about 72 to 74 so that's fine this bucket feels once again 72 to 74 yeah they all feel i mean pretty consistently 72 to 74 this bucket gets a little bit more sunlight and still 72 to 74 degrees is what i would guess maybe uh in a different video i will actually test how accurate my high-tech uh, thermometer is compared to a real thermometer so I'll actually test it out in a, in a later video. So, I hope you found that video informative and possibly entertaining. Um, I decided to film this uh, episode of Water Change Wednesday outside of my driveway in my summer tubs. Uh, due, or not due to, but based on request from some um, people that were in my live stream last night on Monday night, I'm filming this on Tuesday, on Monday night on my live stream, uh, they said that they want to see as many videos as I can post about uh, my summer ponds or summer guppy tubs and buckets as I could make. So I figured, hey, let's do a water change Wednesday on, on, on the tubs, on the guppy ponds and buckets and tubs. You, you get the point. And, uh, and then I can show them how I do water changes in the summertime. So that way, in case other people out there are doing uh, guppy tubs and ponds outside and they're worrying about what to do when it gets too hot, um, now you know how I deal with it, how I dealt with it last summer, it worked for me. I think the high temperature last year was probably close to uh, 100 uh, or so. Um, but being that my tubs, once again, are uh, in the shade most of the day the only sun that they get is comes from right behind me that way and um, so they get a few hours of sun so it doesn't really get direct sunlight so it doesn't get too hot my daughter asked me to put the top back on her bubbles here and um, and uh, I'm gonna say here they um, so anyways they don't get too hot but they, they did get pretty warm, so I dealt with the warmth and the uh, lack of oxygen by just doing exactly what I showed you. I used my cooler uh, rain barrel water to get uh, some cooler water, which has more oxygen, and then I poured it in with a, a garden watering can, and that that kept kept my uh, fish um, alive last summer, and it worked. I did that about probably once a day um, on really hot days. I did it about twice a day. Um, if I ever got a chance or thought about it. And you know, I went on va a vacation for a week last year and it didn't have, but it, it, I don't think it got that hot. I think it stayed in the, like the 90s that week. So um, that's how I filter my uh, guppy ponds, my guppy tubs and buckets uh, in the summertime when it gets pretty hot here in uh, Virginia. Summers get do get pretty warm. Um, so it's not like up in Canada where um, it stays a little bit cooler and. I guess, I mean, I, I know it gets warm there, but it does get pretty hot here. So if you found that entertaining or informational, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like. If you did not, give it a thumbs down and explain what, what you'd like to see. And also another way you can um, kind of direct my future videos for Water Change Wednesday or other content is by either A, commenting below on what you'd like to see, or stopping by my live streams on Monday nights at 9.30 um, p.m. Eastern, uh, slightly after Bob. I usually start a little bit before 9.30. Uh, I usually wait till Bob finishes up, um, and then a few minutes later I get things going, and then it's usually going. So this uh, video is brought to you by the uh, request of a few uh, participants in my live stream last night. So you want to make a request, then stop by the live stream. So that's how it goes. Um, please feel free to subscribe, turn on notifications, and uh, click that bell, which is right down there below. And uh, share with your friends, it'd be great. I really appreciate that. And um, I think that's about it. So have a good one, and you stay fishy, people.